You've made some amazing memories in your RV and loved the lifestyle, and now it's time to upgrade. What do you want to do with your current RV? Should you trade it in, try to sell it on your own, or possibly put it up for consignment? These are all viable options, and today we're going to go over the benefits of each. The first and most common option due to being easy and headache free is to trade in your RV. The dealership you're trading your RV in at will take care of all the paperwork and let you know how much you can get for your current RV. Plus, they can roll any equity over right into the new RV, making the whole process very simple. When trading in your RV, naturally you'll want the most money you can get for your trade. What enhances the value will be a combination of demand for your particular model or brand and the overall soundness of your current RV. For the most part, you don't have to worry about demand. There are always fellow campers on the lookout for a good used RV. That being said, you may get a little more for your trade-in if the dealership you're trading it into really needs your brand or model. As an example, if you've decided a fifth wheel serves your purpose more than your current pop-up, trading in the pop-up at a place that is low on pop-up inventory and looking for more may yield you a slightly better trade value. The easier the dealership thinks it will be to resell your current RV, the more chances you have to get good money for it. When trading in, the most important part is the condition of your RV. A well taken care of RV is always worth more than one that isn't. If you have done your proper maintenance on the basics, especially your roof and appliances, it will help you tremendously come trade-in time. Condition also includes cleanliness. When it comes to the professionals at the RV dealership to look over your trade-in, it will do you a world of good to make sure it is clean as possible. Think of it as selling a house. How much more value is perceived in a house that's immaculately clean inside and out versus one that had a hoarder living in it? I know it's an extreme example, but keep in mind the dealership professionals see a lot of trade-ins. You'll make yours stand out if it's showroom new as possible. What about selling it yourself to a private buyer? This is what I'd call the bridge between trade-in and consignment. The benefit to selling your RV on your own is that you may get more money for it. The downfall is that you'll probably get more headaches too. Every buyer, regardless if it's a private transaction or not, will want the best deal possible. If you've sold any big ticket items on your own before, you'll know that prospective buyers often come in with ridiculously low offers. They may be extremely rude about the condition of your RV or even ask if you'll finance them. Plus, you have to take time out of your day to meet with every potential buyer and usually spend at least an hour with them going over the RV. Then you need to deal with paperwork you may not be familiar with, from a bill of sale to a title transfer. Often, purely for peace of mind and convenience, a trade-in is the best way for you to set your current RV onto its new path. Can you sell your RV directly to an RV dealer? Yeah, it's possible to sell your used RV right to a dealer, and in some states, consignment isn't an option. Obviously, you'll want to make sure all of your paperwork is in order regarding title, loan papers, etc., and make sure it's as clean as possible. One thing to consider is the demand for your current RV and whether the RV dealer needs it. As we talked about in our pop-up example, the same thing applies to an RV dealer buying your current RV outright. If they feel they need it and can sell it, then they'll probably consider it. If they don't, but you still want it sold using the expertise of their personnel and marketing, then you'll want to consider consignment. So let's talk about consignment. If you're looking to take a hiatus from camping, consignment may be your best option. This is especially true when it comes to higher ticket RVs, such as motorhomes and full profile fifth wheels. The market for these is certainly there, but taking the headaches out of selling it on your own via consignment can be worth it. You'll certainly have it clean, but a dealership will make it as showroom new as they can, plus provide an overall inspection. They'll also shoot professional photos of your RV, and you'll be able to take advantage of their wider range of online marketing. Once a deal is reached with a buyer for your RV, the dealership will handle all the necessary paperwork. And remember, the dealership will be able to help the buyer with financing as well. Sell, trade, consign, it's all up to what serves your needs best, and we're here to help you with whatever decision you make. Thanks for watching, folks. I'm Ian Baker, and this wraps up yet another chapter in your RV Buying Guide.